The water crisis at Omashete, a settlement in rural Erongo, is because of a drought experienced in the past seven years. After underground water sources decreased, only one borehole remained operational to provide water to the community. A water truck transports water from other areas to Omashete about three days a week to meet the demand. Residents, however, say it is not enough because their tanks are not filled to capacity. This situation has jeopardized lessons at the public school, which accommodates over 300 learners. We are cancelling school days because there is no water. Sometimes even the kids, we are asking them to bring water in small containers, at least so that they can manage from 7 to 1 o'clock. It really is a, it's a, it's a, it's a serious problem. Some of the young teachers nowadays, they are also moving away because they cannot stay. It's just a place of not having water to use in toilet. The general hygiene at the health center is also under threat as steps are without running water. Patients are supposed to wash their hands repeatedly. After toilet use, before toilet use, before... Okay, so those things are now compromised because there's no running water. We collect from the tanks now, ourselves with containers. Then we keep them, we have a storeroom where we are keeping our containers and also some buckets where we put in our toilets. Because most patients can come with vomiting or whatever, or want to ease themselves, so that's how we are coping. A senior councillor in the Derawa Traditional Authority says a tender to put up a 30-kilometer pipeline to transport water to Omashete was advertised four months ago, but no company has been awarded the project yet. The procurement, you can mention it, is killing us. That is killing us, and uh, really there's no water. So even you can just turn any tap here. We would not find any water here. So that's why we are saying uh, really um, the regional office who is uh, maintaining this project to bring us water must fast track so that we can at least uh, early next year we can have water. The traditional authority further called on government to come up with a permanent solution to the water crisis. A second seawater desalination plant has been approved for construction near Swakopmund to solve the crisis, especially in Daures. Renata Ringura, NBC News, Omashete.